Hey guys, I got a new trick for you. I, uh, I'm using a, a different type of pump this year to pull the water out the top of my pool. Last year I just used a hose and gravity uh, fed it off the top. Um, this year I'm actually using a sump pump. I had to buy it to pump the water out of my house that we're building back here, but I decided that it might work pretty good for pulling the water off the top of this pool as well. It's, uh, pull it out here for a second. It, it, it'll turn off after a few moments after being out of the water because it's got a sensor. Um, but it's made by Tack Life. You know, watch this. Here it goes. See, it's quit. Part number is a GSUP1A. It's about a hundred bucks on Amazon. Um, self priming neat pump but I'm gonna let that guy pull all the water off the top of my pool this year um, it's actually pretty convenient because I got it plugged straight into the the, uh, the pool pump outlet drop it right over the side and uh, you know and it's on let me take you over here and show you the uh, the volume of water it's pushing out but this time it ought to uh, it ought to be able to get all the water out because it, it'll just pull the water down to just about nothing. Check it out. That's pretty good. So we'll give it a few minutes. Let it pump all the water out. I'm gonna open up the top of this pool and see if it survived. I kind of doubt it. But who knows? Maybe the chemicals held out, and it's maybe water. it'll work. Yep. I uh, had some difficulty over the winter time. Um, Open it up this year. I'm not sure what I'm gonna end up with because I ended up losing the top due to uh, some really bad storms we had. We had like sustained 70 mile an hour winds. You know, you might as well classify it as a class one hurricane. Um, but I ended up having to do breaks after the wind got a little too much for the wrap and pulled the wrap off and i did lose the cover so i got some debris in the pool i managed to clean it back up but i went back and did the old uh, cinder block with tie straps it was an unintended purpose for this pump but i i'm glad i got it because it's making life a little easier it took about 10 minutes total maybe to pull the water off not too long so I'm going to take it and finish getting the rest of the water off little by little and then we'll open it up and see what it looks like under here just out of curiosity. So let's see what we got. Open it up. See how bad it is. Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to try to channel the water over toward the pump as well so it'll, it'll kick on as soon as I drag the water over that way. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. I mean, come on. It's got a little bit of stuff down in there, but <laughs> again, I'm so I'm surprised at how well sealing this thing up is working out for the winter time. I was really expecting to have green water. I really was. It's getting the water out though. I'm not having to fight to pull the top off like I had last to do last last year. As I got the pump pulling out the rest of the water so I can get the tarp off. I think at this point I could probably just drag it off, but either way, um it's uh pump pulls not too bad. I was expecting it to be worse after losing the top earlier this uh this winter. So all in all, uh, I'm still I'm still happy with it. Got some cleaning up to do. Definitely got to get chemicals in it. We should be on for one more year of swimming in this guy. Anyway, appreciate you watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.